Ronnie O'Sullivan is just arriving in the studio. Hello. <laughs> Ronnie, how was that from your end, mate? We know obviously you like to play perfect snooker. We know you're never going to compliment that's yourself. Perfect. There's just no mistakes. <laughs> 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 Can, can you enjoy a match like that at all? Or how does it actually feel when well, you play? Well, I sometimes think to myself, what else will I be doing now? I'm out there in a nice venue, you know, even if I got beat 6-0, it's not a bad way to spend a Friday afternoon, you know? So I always think of that. I think, what else will I be doing on a Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday evening, when I'm out there, probably not enjoying it, struggling, you just think, well, I'm just watching X Factor or something. So it's, it's not a bad, you know, that's how I kind of, like, equate it, you know, because it can be frustrating out there sometimes and... Uh, you just got to find a way to just think, oh, it's actually all right being here. <laughs> but when, when you are missing shots that are clearly frustrating you, mm. is that literally what would go through your head? You just, no, not always, you know, but um, that's sometimes the perspective that you have to take out there, you know, that, you know, it's not a normal job, is it? It's, an, it's a nice kind of job in a way. But, um, you know, just trying to fathom out why you're missing balls is the thing, you know, so I must have gone through about 14 different cue actions out there today. <laughs> and then in the end, I went, just commit, you know, just mm. sort of like, just back, forward, back, forward, not not back, right, left, come inside, scoop, skip, up, up, you know, and, and all the chalk marks that I was leaving on the table, you know, like a golfer has a divot, you know, but sometimes when you leave a good chalk mark, you know you're queuing well, they're nice thick ones, mine are all little thin ones, I'm looking at them, I'm trying to get rid of them because I'm thinking, oh, it's, it's such a nightmare. You know, so you've got all them sort of thoughts going through here, so I hope that's answered your question, Reds. Yeah, it has actually. <laughs> <laughs> in in terms of this man here, there were, there, there were two people that were pretty stressed out. There's your mate Robbie in the back, who, who was almost getting on the cigs. Uh, as was Jimmy. Was, well, he was calm. <laughs> <laughs> was no I think, uh, okay, when he has started, you know, slow in uh, his, his last two matches, and then today he started off good, and then at 3 0 up, he, normal circumstances are the chances he had. You know, Ronnie O'Sullivan playing more consistently his normal top game, he would have been 4 0 up. And I think that sort of frustrated him, and that gives you a little bit of confidence. And then he started to play well, and then, you, you know, he's a fantastic player. But from 5-4 down, uh, when you played that red left-handed, do you remember you went into the 4-5 mm. reds? Mm. Once that went in, won that frame, and then you called the safety shot that Yale played the last frame, left Ronnie, that red into the yellow pocket. D difficult shots, but, you know, this guy's the greatest, and he knows how to win, and he was under the cost there, it has to be said. How were your feet, by the way? Because you're wearing shoes. Are the two matches with trainers? Yeah, I thought I'd try the shoes. Foot's still sore, and it's when I get out of the seat, I have to, you know, a couple of walks around the table, it eases up a bit. So I just got, I, I just got fed up wearing them trainers. They're, not, they're horrible to look at, you know. <laughs> bouncing around, it's nearly kept falling over. There was that you're quite big, pla that platforms, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, the, like the running yeah. trainers. So I thought I'd just try these, and I felt better, you know, just because I looked a bit smart, you know. And what about the tip? We, we saw, I mean, Rian pointed it out, yeah. with it. was it glass paper, Rian? Sandpaper. Yeah, there's, I felt like it's, it's overhanging a little bit so I can see a bit of a bit of something there. So do you have uh, to have the tip flush? I like it flush, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like seeing anything, you know what I mean? Definitely but it's quite not. old and that, and I'm just fine to sort of mess about with it. But is that the finest sandpaper you can use, is it? I don't, yeah, I've got finer, I think, but oh. I, don't, I don't care. Anymore. Is it all right now? Uh, it's all right if you're playing all right. If you're not playing well, you know, it's not, no, it's in all sorts, you know, it's one of them, isn't it, you know, but, um, you know, it's fine, yeah, it's good. I've had, I've had a lot worse in one tournament, so, mm. yeah. Mate, it's your 12th semi-final. I know you're not mm. fussed about stats, mm. but in terms of, so you've had 11 up to this point, mm. eight of those have resulted in a final, seven you've mm. won. What is it about you in the business end of tournaments? Is it that other people fall apart? Do you change your, your kind of mindset? What is I that? Know. I don't know, mate. I really ain't got a clue, I don't know. Pretty good reds. <laughs> yeah. It's just naturally built into winners, isn't it? I think they just naturally fall into that thing, right? Now I'm ready, now ready to kick on and win the tournament. Like in that final frame, you sort of knew he was back to old Ronnie, wanting to win. No, no, he was going to win. That's how it looked to us anyway. And we know that obviously for you, you've often said you'd rather lose playing well than mm. win playing yeah. badly. Yeah. Well, that was that the same today. Bit of good, bit of bad. Finished off good, so I felt happy about that. And hopefully, I can take what I was doing in the last two frames into my game. You know, I was doing that probably about. Nine years ago, this cue action, and it was real, it used to work. All right, I think, oh, this is cool. It just gets me going. I just, once I get going and I'm online, then it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? But when you're offline and you're sort of searching for it and you're steering the ball in, then you're in trouble. You know. So if you can cut that out, that's a, that's the important thing. But it's just a technical game, isn't it? It's like golf, isn't it? You know. Um, if, you, if you cue outside, inside, and come there, there's, there's a good chance you're going to mistime it. Hit it left, right. 
it's no different to golf, really. Um, probably same, same, same sort of sport, really. One final question is, when I watch you play, to the layman, and I'm not an mm. expert, is you suddenly seem to find something. So you go from two bad frames, one shot, and you go, mm. oh, he's back. What actually happens to you when that takes place? It just place? comes and goes, you know. Sometimes it just comes, it goes, it comes, it goes, and then other times it just comes and stays there for three, four months sometimes, and then it goes for a few months. It can go for a year sometimes. I've had it gone for two years, and I've had it where it's come for three years, and you just think, oh, I'm just getting everything flush out in the middle and flying, and... It's just, I don't, know if it, I don't know, is that the same for you, Rand? Is that your experience yeah, with the game? You know, think, you have I times where you think, I'm really sh hitting it If you it well. accept it, you know that it's not going to happen day in, it. day I can't out. Accept it. That, that's I'm, the I'm refusing part, yeah. to accept it. I'm not an acceptor. <laughs> but, if it, but if you accept it, I think you could get over it a lot quicker. Yeah, yeah, possibly, yeah. You know what I mean? So Play if, your way if you know, right, I mean, yeah. oh, today's another day. I ain't got no patience, though, so I can't. I'm like, I want it now. I'm not waiting next week, next month. <laughs> also, <Yeah. laughs> also, with the greatest in any sport, you know, once they're under the hammer, they know that another Rick and they're, they're out the tournament, something naturally kicks in and, you know, they don't want to lose. So nine times out of ten, the best players in any sport produce and that's what he did. And in semi-final, Hussein Vafai, oh, that is, have you got a hole in the bottom of those shoes? Yeah. What's up? It's coming through. It needs to be sold. I just spotted it on. Mate, how, old, how long have you had those for? Oh, eight years. He's <laughs> They work for you. You've bedded them in, then. Yeah, well bedded in, mate. <laughs> yeah, well bedded in. Um, so he finds his line now. He's like, I've got the hole. <laughs> get the sharpie out and fill it in. So they don't get. Right, love it. How much would you get for winning this tournament? I blame Will Stug for not playing enough players. <laughs> <laughs> we got holes in our shoes and everything. I love this. Hi, I'm Ronnie O'Sullivan and welcome to Eurosport Snooker on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Snooker.